Production Planning PTC uses the phrase Manufacturing Process Management to describe the process of converting a digital representation of a product into a physical product. It involves the transformation of the product definition from the functional view used by engineering to a methodized view used by manufacturing, and then detailing the processes and resources necessary for product realization. The business challenges with manufacturing process management include customer demands, specifically the demand for increased product variety and much more complex MCAD, ECAD software products. Both of these factors can increase efforts to plan how a product gets manufactured. Without comprehensive planning that uses complete product definitions, it is difficult. As new markets open up and companies expand their manufacturing operations to new locations and new countries, planning for production must account for multiple plants, skills, machines, processes, and potentially multiple ERP systems controlling production. Competitive pressures to complete production activities faster add to the necessity for well-planned production processes. Overall corporate demands like lowering manufacturing costs continue to be a factor for many manufacturers. Yet lowering costs while trying to open new facilities and while trying to handle new, complex products can put stress on quality. Manufacturing planning needs to operate at the highest quality possible to reduce manufacturing errors and rework. PTC is aligned with helping manufacturers with these challenges and achieving the goal of having process planning that goes from virtual to physical. Manufacturing planning accelerates time to manufacturing while ensuring small changes in engineering don't have large impacts on production. Manufacturing process management is designed to break down the wall between engineering and manufacturing. It can address the challenges of disconnected teams and processes, multiple systems with manual re-entry of data, and synchronization from engineering to manufacturing planning to MES and ERP systems. Positive outcomes of manufacturing process management are concurrent processes leveraging data across teams and associated views of information. MPM link capabilities include manufacturing bomb management, the transformation of the MBOM to the EBOM, process plan management, the development of intelligent graphical work instructions to drive the work to be performed, manufacturing change management, using appropriate change control on changes to bombs, process plans, and manufacturing documentation. Integration to operations, automated transfer of MBOMs and process plans to ERP and MES, manufacturing analysis and optimization, analyzing manufacturing processes and how the work moves through the factory, integral work instructions, graphical display of process steps, and control characteristic management, ensuring that control characteristics are defined, managed, and allocated through the manufacturing process. Here is one example of how manufacturing process management has improved one organization. CNB Super Yachts had the initiatives to improve production and reduce life cycle costs. They wanted to reduce their time to manufacture and wanted to more tightly integrate their manufacturing and R&D processes. The solution was PTC MPM Link, which was used to create the manufacturing bill of material. The capabilities integrated were the manufacturing process planning, process management, and work instructions. And they improved configuration management and variant management and established a configurator for generating customer bill of materials. The results were improved project and product data management with windchill product lifecycle management, integrated manufacturing and global R&D processes with PTC Manufacturing Process Management Solution, unifying the major elements of design, manufacturing, planning, and resources within a common system, and improved visibility of product data in Manufacturing PTC Creo Elements View. Now let's view a short demo. As a manufacturing engineer, I have access to the MBOM, which will be used to create the process plan. Since I am in the same tool as the designer, I also have access to the EBOM, as shown earlier. Here I am opening the EBOM in the Manufacturing Associative Part Structure browser so that I can see the EBOM and the MBOM side by side. In this example, I can quickly see that all the parts from the EBOM have been consumed by the MBOM.
Now I'm going to access the existing process plan and review the plan for the box. Note that the cover has not yet been incorporated into the process plan. I can see that the process plan has four operations and I can browse step by step to see how the process plan is put together. From the process plan I can see the detailed bill of process. As seen here, each individual operation references not only the parts consumed by the operation, but also the work center where work is to be performed as well as any tooling required to carry out the operation. Viewing the parent assembly in 3D, I can readily see that the cover and screws have not yet been consumed. Similarly, in the bottom structure, I can see that those same parts have not yet been consumed by reviewing the allocation status. With a simple drag and drop from the 3D to the process step, you can see that the cover and screws now show them as being consumed in the 3D and in the MBOM structure and appear in the operation to which it is allocated in the process plan. I can now add to the bill of process the resources I need to install the cover. The resources available to you within a plant are available in the plant panel on the left and may be dragged and dropped onto the corresponding operation in the structure panel in the center. Note as I select the resource in the plant structure panel, the 3D view of them displays in the lower left panel and vice versa. I can now go step by step through my process plan to see the cover has been incorporated into my bill of process. I now open an individual operation in CreoView to be able to create a graphical work instruction which corresponds to that operation. As can be seen here, the updated operation with the cover is shown in the context of the environment where the operation takes place. Not only the assembly, but all the resources, including the line, are shown. I can then drag the cover and screws off to better illustrate the assembly sequence. Our finished graphical work instruction can now be saved in Windchill. If I now want to look at the overall process plan, I can view the graphical work instruction. I can scroll through each operation and ensure that the cover and screws have been incorporated into my process plan. This is shown how you can quickly create a work instruction from the MBOM. Let's move on now to how a change gets incorporated into the process plan. I can see that a label has been added to the MBOM, but not yet incorporated into the process plan. Also, the cover geometry has changed to accommodate the label. I'll quickly go to the process plan and consume those changes into it. I can see in the 3D that the new cover geometry is shown. By using the Emphasize Part feature, I can easily see which geometry has changed. I can also open the assembly and see that the new part has been added. In this example, the label was added and has not yet been allocated. So I'll just drag and drop the label to the appropriate operation, and now it has been consumed. Note that the label now shows beneath the operation in the process plan. Now I need to go 
to my work instruction and update the graphics. I need to turn on the label and reposition it over the cover. Now I'll save the updated work instruction. You can see that the user didn't have to redo everything, only the operations which are impacted by the change. If I now open the work instruction for the affected operation, I can see that the part allocation table and the graphics have been updated. We've now shown how modifications to the EBOM get updated in the MBOM and the associated process plan. I can also review how this process plan is going to go through my plant. I do this by opening my process plan in the context of the plant. Now that I am viewing my plant, I can now play back the operations as they move through the plant. Finally, let's review our production planning roadmap. Moving forward, PTC plans to provide a 3D augmented reality authoring tool enhanced to create and update AR experiences. The AR experience will be derived from the MPM link process plans. Capabilities will include digital process planning, 3D instructions, 3D illustrations, AR experiences themselves, and the ability to create and update those experiences along with integrated change control. Additionally, PTC plans to deliver augmented reality instructions to train and guide the worker. PTC will offer an app that will be able to deliver the AR experience to the user on the shop floor. Capabilities include contextual delivery, visual delivery for 3D machine performance and business data, guided step-by-step -step instructions, real-time process and quality validation for error-proof execution, walk the plant augmented reality experiences, and support for multiple devices and platform. By implementing a solution that allows for the concurrent planning and development of products, companies can experience a reduction in time to manufacture by 10 to 50 percent per SIM data interviews, improvement in operational efficiency and excellence, and first-time quality. PTC is committed to driving your success. Our dedicated customer success team provides an unmatched comprehensive portfolio from strategy through deployment, training, support, and success management services. To ensure rapid time to value for our customer, PTC created value-ready deployments. PTC's VRDs are designed to help customers generate ROI faster and with minimal cost and risk. We currently offer several VRDs related to BOM best practices, including engineering BOM, change management, and data management. To learn more, head to www.ptc.com slash services slash value ready deployments. Learn more about PTC production planning at ptc.com slash product lifecycle management slash manufacturing process management. Schedule a one-to-one -one demo or speak with a specialist at ptc.com slash bomb. Thank you for your attention.